All right, hey, what's up, guys? Coach Mac, play fast football. Okay, today I'm going to do a little video on uh, two high versus three high, and what is the exact difference? It's been a topic that uh, I know some people on on uh, on our end on our website, some play fast stuff. It's been a topic that we've been talking about, and uh, I think there's still some confusion out there sometimes with with you know two high stuff and three high stuff, and what the difference is, and and what the personnel differences are. So we're going to take a look at that today. Make sure you check out some of our partners, Dome Hats. It's so the headwear company that we use with Plagefest uh, football on their school that I'm currently at. They also right now have a uh, special corner going on. If you go to their store, if you go to www.domeheadwear.co and you go on their store, any item that you want to purchase, if you use the promo code COACHMAC, all capitals, you'll get 10% off any offer. So make sure you check out Dome Headwear, custom hats, awesome stuff, a lot of really neat hats on there. Baker Sporting Goods, which is a local sporting goods company I use, they provide me with my coach's gear, my uniforms, my spirit packs, my player's gear. Anytime we're going to do an online store for fans or players or anything like that, we use Baker Sporting Goods. Make sure you check them out. Just Play Football, it's a more powerful presentation. It's the software I use for uh, when I speak at webinars, or I'm sorry, when I do webinars or speak at clinics. Anything that I'm going to draw that needs a play drawing tool, I use Just Play. It's also uh, a more powerful way to present your playbook and your game plan stuff to your players. You can quiz them. You can find out how much they really know about uh, the information that you're asking them to retain. So make sure you check out Just Play. Game Strat sideline replay system we use. If you're looking for a highly reliable, highly affordable sideline replay system, make sure you check out Game Strat. Difference USA, which is the ultimate striking machine. We have one we use in the offseason in our weight room. Work on striking. You don't need a partner. Elbows in, thumbs up. Get your eyes where you need them. Come out of your stance. Get those hips glutes, everything activated so you can strike and deliver with power. It had, comes with different resistance coils, so as the kids get better, stronger, all right, a little bit older, it makes it tougher to uh, to leverage the pad in, so make sure you check out Difference USA. And then High and Tight, which is a ball security training aid that we use. It's got sensors and different panels. You have to have the ball held correctly with the proper points of pressure, wrist up above the elbow, locked, split the tip, all the proper ways to hold the ball with the points of pressure. If you do that correctly, you will hear an auditory beep. If you do not hear the beep, you're holding the ball incorrectly, so it builds muscle memory for your players. It's quick and easy to use, so check out high and tight. All right, so first thing I've got drawn up there is I've got drawn up a, a two high structure, all right, from our 3-3 our three, three stack package that we've been using, all right, the last couple of years, and it's how we've played defense the last couple of years. Now, you know, the first thing, you know, that we don't want to confuse here, we are still playing a three safety difference, defense, I'm sorry. So we're still playing a three safety defense. All right. We are also still playing split field coverages. Now, when we talk about three high stuff, what you're going to notice is we're still talking three safeties, and we're still talking the ability to play split field coverages. What do split field coverages mean? Split field coverages mean the ability to play combination coverages or coverages that are different on each side of the formation. So if you split the ball right down the middle, each side of the formation may have different numbers of receivers. It may have different splits where you may have two open, you may have a tight end and a flanker, you may have three open, you may have just a single that's a split, you may have just a single that's a nub or a tight. So when you split the formation down the middle of the football, each side's going to have its own picture and we play our coverages based on the picture that each side sees. So split field coverages gives you the ability to play combination or different coverages on each side of the field. Split field doesn't mean split safety. It doesn't mean, you know, predominantly two high safety structures. It means splitting the field, down the ball, split the formation, and you can play different coverages on each side of the formation or each side of the field. Okay, so in our three safety system, the way we have played it the last couple of years, we play for mostly a two high structure, which means we're going to try and, and hold a two high look the majority of the time, and we're going to try and get our coverages to look similar, but we're playing with a two-high structure, not a three-high structure. One of our safeties will always be tied to the passing strength or the read side, all right, and he, he basically becomes your, your nickel star, uh, your Sam linebacker. Uh, he's a safety for us, but he's playing that role of the passing strength side extra DB, okay? So for us, we've talked about it several different times on a lot of different videos that we do, we don't move our, our outside safety. So I play with a left safety and a right safety. I don't play with a star and, and a rover or a, or a rover and a whip. I don't play my players that way. I play with the left and right, and then when the free safety calls coverage, 
The guy that's to the call side, read side, goes down to become the apex Sam linebacker, extra nickel, however you want to look at that. Okay, so to this two-back set that I've got drawn up right here, all right, you can see that with the passing strength on the left, my free safety is going to declare the passing strength to the left, which means that left safety that I've got drawn up as the dollar sign right now, all right? He is down to that side playing that nickel role, that, that, that Sam linebacker, extra DB type role, okay? And he is playing in a down position, and the weak safety away from the passing strength is playing in that too high position, all right? The split field coverage part happens when we split the ball right down the middle, and we look over here and we have two detached receivers, and we look over here and we just have one split receiver. Now to each side of that formation, our guys are going to call coverages that we want to play to that picture, which means we're going to play a different coverage on this side than we play on that side. The only time we would possibly play the same coverage is if we had the same amount of receivers, so a two-by-two two set with two detached receivers, we're probably going to mirror and play the same coverage on each side, so it's not as much of a split field theory, all right, because we're going to play the same coverages, but we can still split field theory the coverage into the, into the boundary. Sometimes we can play different things to the away side than we do to the read side, so we still have the ability to play split field coverages. But if you notice from the two high structure, all right, when I get a two back set like this, I don't have to remove any of my stack linebackers because the, the, the high safety to the passing strength side with the free safety is going to roll down to become that apex nickel extra DB. All right, so I don't have to walk anybody out from the box. The only time I would have to remove somebody from the box is if they gave me a two by two set and now to the away side or the weak side of our coverage, now we might have to remove, okay, our Ram linebacker to help us have a cover down on number two. All right, and now we've got to remove that Ram linebacker to that side if it's a two by two set. So if we're too high, split field coverage, okay, if, if we're looking at a two by two set, we may play the same coverages on, on both sides. We, we would have to remove that Ram linebacker. If we go back to the two back set, okay, <coughs> now we don't have to remove the Ram linebacker, so our six man box can play in what we would call a home position. All right, or a base position where the six-man box stays static. We don't have to move it. We don't have to walk anybody out all right, to this set. But we're still going to play a split field coverage theory because we're going to play a different version of coverage to the front side than we do to the back side. Now, where does that start to change when you go to three high safety defense? If you are playing three high safety defense, what's going to occur now is that extra safety, which I had drawn up as the dollar sign, he is now going to be asked to be a player that plays high more often than not. And now that middle safety or that free safety, all right, he's going to be a guy that plays off of the number three receiver, depending on the, on the different types of coverage. There's several coverages you can use in a three high structure. But what's going to happen is the free safety is not going to declare the passing strength and go over the top of the passing strength and put, all right, the, the nickel or the star down to the passing strength. All three safeties are going to start from a high look, which means now we have to bump our box and, and break the stack and get into a 3-2 box. So now what we've got to do is we've got to bump a linebacker out to give us the overhang we need. And then we're probably going to plus our backers over this way. And then for us, we would probably take that end and play him in a 4 eye to eliminate that B gap since this backer is walked out as now an overhang. So now we have the ability from a three high structure to still play split field. So for me, the way I was playing defense to this set, I would still play my, my single coverage deals. I would still play them the same way on that side with those two players, and he would be the third player to that side to give me three on two. I wouldn't do anything different to that side as far as the coverage is concerned. I would play all the same single side away side coverage deals that I did in my normal two high split field coverage. To this side, I am still going to play the same coverage, which for us, our base is what we call two read. The difference is now I'm doing it, instead of doing it with the nickel, the free, and the corner, I'm now doing it with the nickel as a high player, okay? And again, when you're playing a structure like this, I've got this, this guy drawn up as the nickel because in the first drawing he was down. If you were playing this structure, that may not be what you think of your nickel. That's going to be actually another safety that can play on a hash mark. 
So in your defense, if the nickel is a guy that's a little bit more athletic, Sam, or the nickel is a guy that's always down to the passing strength, you don't require the nickel to be on a hash mark, which is standard in a lot of defenses. All right, if you were playing a three-high safety deal, you wouldn't play a nickel in that position. Your nickel would probably be maybe one of these backers versus spread team. Okay, so now you've got three true high safeties. I'm still going to play two read, but I'm going to play it now with the corner, the left safety, and my, my stack, what we call our linebacker. I'm going to remove my free safety from that part of the coverage, and he's going to end up lining up and playing his coverages off of the number three receiver, all right, in the backfield. To the away side, I'm going to keep all the same structures I had in my base two high split field coverages. I'm not changing anything. The change is happening on that front side with the two removed. That's where the change is occurring. Now, the other change that would occur would be if you saw a two by two set now. In order for us to stay three high, we have to have the ability, all right, to lead both safeties high, which means now versus a two by two set, traditionally speaking, for a three high safety team, you're going to see a one linebacker box and you're going to see both stack backers apex out. And it's going to look like a 3 1 box. Both stack backers have to apex out so that you can have overhangs playing your down part of the coverage in your 2 read package, all right, or your quarters package, whatever you may be playing. They're the down part. Your outside safeties now, your left and right safety for us, they are the outside high parts, and your free safety or your middle safety, joker, whatever you call them in that defense, okay, adjuster, he's going to now play his coverages off of three, which in two-by-two two sets will be the remaining back in the backfield, all right? He'll probably be tied more to the run fits. He'll be an extra fitter in the run. He won't have anything to do with the two-by-two, two, all right, remove two read coverage. That's the biggest difference in a three-high safety structure. You've got to be able to break your box more often. You've got to be able to apex guys out so that your safeties versus two removed trips or anything else can stay high on the outside because your free safety, middle safety, joker, adjuster is going to line up off of number three. So now a lot of times what you'll see in a three high safety defense is you'll see more of the tight front, B gaps taken away, A gaps handled by Mike and Nose, and now the overhangs are walked out. You're still going to see three high teams play split field coverages. All right, you're still going to see three high teams have the ability to play their split field coverage deals. All right, so if we looked at three by one, and again, this is just the way we would think about doing it. All right, if we saw three by one in our base deal, so if we saw three by one in our, in our base two high split field coverage deal, in our three three stack look, okay, for us, we would bump the backer a little bit, not too far from our home base, but we would plus them just a little bit. Our, our free safety would go to the passing strength side, which would put our down safety down as the apex nickel extra defender. Our free safety would be to the passing strength, which is the three by one side, so he would make a Liz call in this example. Our split field theory would now be the right safety, the corner, and the ram backer on the back side giving us the ability to be three for two, giving us the ability to play some bracket type deals on the single all right, to the quote away side, the side away from the passing strength. All right, That would be our split field coverage deal. We would play a pattern match, we would play man on one, so we would X that out. We would play a pattern match deal with these two off of the number three. Our, our bumped out, all right, hit, our hip linebacker would be the guy that has to worry about if four pushes, if four pushes strong, We've got to match that, and we're going to bump these two players to the strong side if we get four strong. All right, that's the way we would play. Okay, so we're still we're three by one. We're split field. We're completely different or combination, however you want to look at it. We've got our three receiver side. We've got our single receiver side. All right, that's the way we would play it from our three safety two high structure. All right, that's just what we would do. Now, if we chose to be a three high team, we wouldn't do very much different at all for us, okay, if we chose to be a three high team versus three by one, we would look very generic in nature, all right, we would look the same way where we would have an end, a nose, an anchor, now we would plus the backers to where it would look almost similar, 
Now what would happen is the third safety we would give us the ability to still play the same coverage while still playing our split field deal on the backside. So a three by one set for us with three high safeties, we would probably play it the same way two high safeties do. All right, so we would play three by one coverages the same way we play them. All right, in our two high safety structure. The thing that's different for me with a three high structure is when you're seeing two by one or two by two sets. That's where it's going to look different. Now, what do a lot of the the three high safety teams like Iowa State or teams like that, you'll see more often than not, you'll see a bump box where you'll see an apex player walked out. They will choose to play their normal deal off of one and two, and then that middle safety will be the guy that lines up off of three as a three vertical player, gives them the ability to still bracket the backside. They can still play split field coverages. That's the most common adjustment you will see, all right, and when you're looking at, uh, like, the, the most prevalent one everybody studies is Iowa State. If you're looking at Iowa State three by one in their three high structure, that is what you would see more often than not. If I choose to go to a three high structure, I would probably leave three by one checks very similar to the way we've always played our three, our, our, our three safety two high deal. Again, not to confuse you, three safeties and three high safeties are two different deals. Okay, so we are a base, the, the last couple years, we have been a base three safety team, but only playing a two high structure. So we have been a base stack team. We have been a base three safety personnel team. There's my three safeties. But our base premise and coverage was split field, okay, from two high structures. Where the three high looks would change is when you get this two by one or two by two set. This picture that you're seeing with us in a two high deal, all right, even though we have three safeties, it's not three high structure. Where the three high structure would change is this would go from this picture that you're looking at right now to a broken stack, three two box, apex of backer, leave the outside safety is high, and the middle safety, free safety joker aligns up to play coverage off the number three, will be an extra guy in the fit, is going to be an extra defender in the run game. That is where three high safety structures differ from two high safety structures. So don't confuse three safeties on the field. People have been playing with three safeties on the field, extra corners. People have been playing nickel and dime for years. That personnel has never changed. What's happening now is that personnel is becoming a little bit more base, excuse me, in nature uh, versus spread teams and air raid teams and uh, tent personnel teams. So that personnel is becoming more base in nature than it is a sub package because of the way the offenses have evolved in the high school and the college game. Okay, but the difference is two high and three high. All right, so both safeties are three safety defenses. Sorry, both defenses are three safety defenses. The difference is one is a two high structure, one is a three high structure, and how you bump the box and backers and things you do at the front change a little bit from those two structures. So the biggest thing if you want to study uh, you know, this type of football on defense, the biggest thing you have to study is the difference between two high structures and three high structures. Both defenses play three safeties. Both defenses can play split field combination coverages. They both have the ability to do a lot of same things, but the structure will change from a two high safety defense to a three high safety defense. Who you walk out, what the jobs are of the players, those things are going to change dramatically from a two high to a three high structure. So hopefully that gives you a little bit more information on a difference between two high structures, three high structures, why some defenses play with three safeties, but it's different than some defenses play with other defenses play with three safeties. So now you can have hopefully a little more background on what the difference is between the structures, why it's okay to say you're a three safety defense but you're not a three high team, why it's okay if you are a three high team to say, yeah, we play three safeties and we play three high structures, very similar to Iowa State. Hopefully that gives you a little bit more knowledge, a little bit more background on it. If anything else, it gives you, uh, you know, the ability to talk on social media or talk in, in more coach speak when you're at the next coaches meeting or out somewhere with coaches, you can kind of understand the difference between two high structures and three high structures.
play a lot of the same coverages, we do a lot of the same things, it's just interchangeable bodies and different bodies doing those different jobs. Positionless, so to speak, hybrid players, so to speak, to use all the good buzzwords, all right? That's what we're trying to get to. We're trying to get to a world where with all the uh, nuances and exotics on offense, we can match them with our personnel, not have to make as many uh, personnel changes because in a high school game, you know, matching personnel isn't a, as big of a deal a lot of the times as it is in college, your best 11 in high school are probably your best 11. So uh, it gives you a way to play some different spread, air raid, those, those type deals that, that you can play them with your structure. All right. So as always, uh, if you're not a subscriber, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Turn your notifications on so you know every time we do a video or every time I jump on YouTube live. Uh, leave a thumbs up or a thumbs down if you like the content, if you like the way I present it. If you don't like the content or you don't like the way I present it, Leave a thumbs down. It's interactive. It helps us learn. There is not, you know, there's no such thing as a bad, a thumb up or a thumb down. That's bad. If it's thumbs down, that's your opinion. Thank you for watching. Don't be afraid to leave your opinion. Always leave a comment. I respond to every comment that I can see on my end, and sometimes I'll try and do videos on the comments that I see if I can do videos. All right, so I appreciate everything you guys do for Play Fast. Make sure you check out some of our sponsors. Check out some of the stuff I've got going on on Twitter, Coach Mac 8740 And remember, you won't play well until you play fast, and I'll see you next time.